All right, folks. I'm bringing you today the Time Warner Cable slash Charter slash Spectrum. Yeah, I know. Freaking changed hands three times over the last year. And yes, AT&T has acquired the <laughs> entire um, internet infrastructure from them as well. So merging with AT&T too. But you've had Uverse before. You've seen my videos. You know what the box is. You know what the modem look like. You know what the darn remotes look like. Now... It's Spectrum's turn. All right, let's give them a little justice. We'll go from the smallest, coolest, newest box to the oldest, shittiest box. All right, folks. Showed you this once before. Got Adobe Digital Plus and HDMI 2.0 compliant ARIS cable box from Spectrum Time Warner. I started service when it was Time Warner, of course. <clears throat> Changed over to Charter during that time period. And then, of course, has converted to Spectrum. So... Well, there's been unique changes, however, you would have been lucky enough to get this box from Time Warner at the time because, yes, I did mount it up on the wall. It was very concealed, very small, with the white LED uh, time being displayed here. This was a, my favorite cable box from them. Uh, just a playback box, however, though. Let's take a look at the stuff, though. Let's take a look at what it's got. you got your coax in, of course. you got a component in. You've got a composite in, of course, left and right input for your stereo connection. You've got a Toslink digital, um, got an optical port right there for audio in. But you also have a digital coax port, which is amazing. Uh, very rare for cable boxes to have both optical and coax digital. We've got HDMI 2.0, of course. We've got an Ethernet. And we've got a USB here. Uh, we've got an external infrared in for serial. Uh, so that's going to be like your trigger. Um, but then we've got an IEEE 1394 for service. Got your removable power supply, which is nice. And then five different serial numbers you can code to the uh, company. So that's the Aris box, their newest one. Time Warner Cable slash Charter slash Spectrum. Let's move on up the list. Cisco, their newest Cisco box. All my boxes have been, uh, you know, maintained previously. But uh, this box I acquired within the last probably six months. Alrighty, folks, let's have a look at the back of the box. Got a little tape here. You don't want to take that off or then you won't be able to get serviced at all. So that's how they know if you screw with the box at all. Back in the day, you just, just, used, you know, just used to be able to hook up a, a splitter cable to your neighbor's coax line and run over to your house and you got free cable going on. <laughs> that's not how you do it anymore. Um, actually, to be quite honest with you, before I get into the looking at this box, uh, this is a Cisco DVR box. Um, it will not do DVR hard disk on it. Of course, you've got to have the actual DVR, whole house enhanced DVR box from them. So it's a DVR box, but it won't record actually on it, so no spinning hard drive on it. But let's take a look at this guy. Um, before I get into this, just m mind you that um, everybody should be aware of this. What, what channels and service you have capable to your television or your cable box is determined in your cable box. The cable company sends the same damn feed out from every location that they have in the United States, if not country, you know, if not world. Uh, they send the exact same signal out to your house. Everybody's house gets the same signal. However, inside your house and your cable box, either at the splitter port or at the DC adapter that they plug into your wall, giving your uh, boxes and stuff AC to DC, you know, current, um, that's absolutely useless as these all have DC, you know, converters in there. Every underwriter's laboratory device for the last 40 years has had DC adapters in it, so that's an actual waste of uh, time and money that they do for you. But yeah, Time Warner Cable slash Spectrum slash Charter is going to want to install a, a DC adapter in there in your basement, most likely. But that's going to be to limit the channels that you get. You, you know, whether you got HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, Stars, On Demand, all that crap, DVR service, that's going to be determined in your cable box, actually. You don't have a cable box, it's going to be determined by the, your cable coming into your uh, wall and then leaving before it gets to your TV, you're gonna have to have some sort of a cable card. The only reason that they do that is to make sure you don't get the service that you're not paying for, believe it or not. But, okay, mind you there, I got uh, the other Cisco box here. It's another playback box, but it's a little bit, a much different box than that one. And as you can see here, it's a little bit different. It does not have the digital coaxial input. It's got an optical audio out, uh, just as that has an optical audio out. These are audio out, of course, digital coax audio out and, um, you know, optical audio out, left, right, stereo, uh, analog audio out, and video out, and of course, compo you know, component out. Um, the only input these things have is cable in with a coax. Okay, we got component, 
video, we've got composite video and audio out. We have an IR blaster, an infrared blaster, of course, for a little trigger. Um, I've got the blasters around here somewhere. Check my previous videos from the, uh, the Harmony Logitech remotes that uh, I have the Ultimate and um, I believe the Elite model. Um, and I've got, of course, a couple of older models. I had this, like, $500 model of a touchscreen remote that just didn't even do that well five years ago. That was horrible. Uh, for 500 bucks, a touchscreen universal remote, believe it or not, yeah. And it, it was junk. Uh, but the Logitech Harmonies have, become a, have come a long way, so um, one way to save some money by having this shitty remote. And, yes, they still use this remote uh, all over the country now for their service, and they've used it for the last about 10 years, so it's pretty horrible. I hate these remotes, however, they are, they do light up and they do supply you with AA batteries, so if you run out of batteries, keep in mind you can just call your cable company up and go, I don't have batteries! So let's deal with that. They all have removable IEC power supplies, which is nice. However, I'll just run through this. It's got your HDMI uh, input here, got your optical audio out there, your cable out, so you can actually go out coax of this thing, where the other ones you cannot do. So this is going to be supplied for a TV that were, you know, that's a CRT tube DB or something. I got Ethernet, your USB, and then you have another type of pin setting for um, a 1394, it looks like, for servicing. Bottom of the box, okay, nothing special. However, big difference between this guy and this guy. This guy has the white LED time being displayed, not hard on the eyes. Uh, not too lit, you know. This one has a bright, bright, bright blue LED time display that will, actually it's not LED, it's those old school digit type of deals with this, you know, with the, uh, I believe there's like a crystal screen in there. So this is a horrible time display, it'll hurt your eyes even, it'll light up the whole room with that blue damn light. Um, before we get in, let me just take one peek. This is our enhanced whole house DVR. Um, this is what was in my bedroom, actually. So it was actually recording off of this, believe it or not. Everything was recording on this. This is an Eris box. Um, we'll have a look at what it's including. It includes a composite, a component, a digital audio out in, in terms of optical again, an HDMI, two USBs, an RJ34, um, or you know, an Ethernet port at least, an eSATA connection though, an external infrared blaster in, and then you got your removable power supply. Cable card only, of course, in there. It ain't going to go in there though. They've already done that from the store. And white LED, very pleasing, not overpowering like the Cisco box. Okay. Um, Time Warner slash Spectrum slash Charters router now. Their best router slash modem, cable modem slash router all in one, going to be supplied for the 60 megabits a second internet connection, their maximum speed that they offer in this location. Here's the router. You can, you, you know, you can connect up to four external devices off of this. Ethernet th four, three, two, one. They all light up and let you know if you're working good. Um, I believe this will operate off the two gigahertz frequency and the five gigahertz frequency. So you got your dual band router there. You got telephone one and two and three. So you can actually do one or two in here on the same line, different line here. All right, folks, so that can be mounted up on the wall too. However, it disperses a ton of heat off the top of it. So cat likes to use it as a chair, but this is your router from Spectrum Service right now at the maximum internet connection you're gonna get. So it is okay, I've had no problems with it. However, it's a little bit bulky. Yes, I still suggest picking up the Nighthawk. Uh, the Nighthawk AC1900 is probably the best renowned router slash cable modem out there for up to like, I don't know, a thousand megabits a second. You cannot go wrong with that Nighthawk router. All right, let me just get to this guy real quick and then we'll kind of conclude our video. This is the full-on biggest playback box DVR that they offer from Spectrum Time Warner. It's another Cisco, of course, but it's got the only manual actually selectable buttons on the front of it. Um, LED, but it's that annoying blue one once again. You got a USB drive in the front, and then let's just take a look at the back real quick. It does disperse a few, you know, a little bit of heat, and it is bulky and big. Uh, it's not their newest, newest box, but it's the one you'll get nowadays. If you've got a whole house enhanced DVR and you want another DVR in another room, you'll get this box, believe it or not. Um, or just a simple playback box, which you cannot pause. You can pause, rewind, do the on demand with this one, and uh, select your list, of course. That uh, that small Aris with the Dolby Digital Plus sign on there, you cannot do anything, even pause with that one. So, I'm just show you got to kill, you know, you got your coax in, you got your coax out. So that's kind of rare. You got a composite. You got a component, that's good to go, okay? We got an optical audio out. It's, you know, rare to have a coax, that's why I love to see that coax. Got your infrared blaster, you got your ethernet coming in, you got your USB 2.0. HDMI, you've got, it'll support 2.0, believe it. And eSATA, that's nice, a 1394 service and a removable IC power supply. 
So, this guy got its cable card installed already. That's how they determine what service you're going to be getting and what you won't be. But it is annoying. Uh, the, you know, with the light, it's extremely annoying and bright and overpowering. Okay, let me just talk about this real quickly, guys. This is the actual way you are getting cable nowadays. Of course, this is the way you always used to get cable. With a coax cable or feed to your house. Old school traditional method of coax used to look just like this. It just had a copper wire running through there. A pretty strong piece of copper, of course, that sent your signal with a piece of insulation wrapped around it. Uh, they have moved away from this. Of course, outside externally on the telephone poles, you will see these guys still. They still have to send the signal from the for the internet, TV, and phone. Yes, through these lines. Um, phone lines is sharing through AT&T's RJ24 network. RJ30. Yeah, I'd have to check up on those RJ numbers again, guys. It's been so long since I've used them, but. Um, Believe it or not, they have converted to this. This is a digital coax cable now that they are utilizing. Pretty much the same thing. However, you will notice there are some numbers on the side of this that almost make it look like a Cat 6E cable as opposed to like a Cat 5 cable. Um, so that is kind of the deal. It's an 18 gauge, it looks like, we got here. But it's brand new. So there, there's no problem that they've been having with these digital coax lines. And the way they differentiate them is just white from black. Old stuff is black, new stuff is white. That's how they do it, guys. It's not that much different. However, it's digital in their eyes. There ain't no ones and zeros coming out of this, I guarantee you. <laughs> so, ain't digital, guys. It's analog-wise, once again, but they call it that. So, that is the difference now with cable companies. Um, I have a satellite dish on my home, as I can show you, but it is worthless. Uh, the best service now... Uh, for the cheapest amount of money and most internet you're going to get to save the most cost effective, you know, I've done an analysis on this, believe it or not, is, is Time Warner slash Charter Spectrum. That is the best service you're going to get for the most internet and TV channels that is consistent TV and all that for the least amount of money uh, and the most often, you know, so um, that's, there you have it, folks. There's the comparison. I had seven rooms hooked up with cable, believe it or not, in my house. Um, and yeah, it was working beautifully with Time Warner and terribly with Uverse, believe it or not. Never had to reset my router or cable modem through Spectrum, though. Never have had to. Get the Nighthawk, you'll never have to guarantee it. That's the deal. Uverse, I think you're losing out on the boxes, though. But we'll go back and do another comparison of the Uverse box in about a month once I've transferred on my other property to that service. So I've got a few properties, guys, uh, with different service, and I'll transfer it on out to Uverse on the other one and show you the newest boxes and modems from them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I will be back. Thank you, folks. Enjoy.